With the NBA draft set to tip off Thursday night, former Razorbacks and even a Central Arkansas native and Nick Smith Jr. are expected to hear their names called. Meanwhile, a coveted Hogs target in Little Rock is putting in the work to go pro as early as 2025. <laughs> Ahead of four-star Ford Honor Boateng's senior season at Central, the state's top-rated prospect flew across the pond to Europe to hone his craft against elite competition and wow some NBA scouts. I went to Europe on a training camp to Treviso, Italy, and it was basically to play against a higher level competition or potential G League players, um, and as, as well as NBA uh, draft picks. We went there with a select group of Adidas players on the Thuris' B circuit, as well as some Nike players and Under Armour circuit players. These are people that are potentially going to the league, so it was like you play against high level players, high IQ players, so you had to basically just grow up. So being in an environment, I feel like I grew a lot and also just confirmed my abilities as well. So it's like, you know, showed me like the possibilities of, you know, making it to the league one day. There's a lot of NBA scouts there and uh, some of the, they talked to some of my coaches and even the, the people that coached us during the Euro camp and the coaches really liked what they saw. They really pointed out my shooting ability because I shot really well there. I was like 46%, something like that. And then as well as my defense and my energy, like I was just kept intensity. I always played, I made sure to do the little things. So, you know, like just do the little things that make you stand out. Boateng wasn't the only local star to make the trip. Fellow Razorbacks target, five-star 2025 Benton Ford Terrion Burgess tagged along to create not just a dynamic duo of Arkansans, but roommates in Italy. Us being there, it was just like putting our, our state on the map, so it was just a great overall experience along with him and, you know, having somebody from home is always comforting. So how the Adidas camp was uh, made, it was split into two teams, so I was on a separate team. So, like, we would come back and even t talk about the game and what we learned or things we picked up, me and him. We, we basically killed it, so it was just great being able to like represent our state. Undecided on his collegiate future, Boateng tells us a decision is around the corner. While he hasn't trimmed down his options just yet, and he still has official visits to take, the Central Tiger says that his home state hogs are very much in contention. My list has narrowed down itself to just the people that still talk to me or the people that still communicate with me. And even there has been some additions recently. I still keep in contact with the Arkansas uh, staff like Coach Smart and Ronnie Brewer. You know, they still try to keep in contact later on, probably possibly throughout the, like at the beginning of my um, senior year, I'll probably try to narrow it down some more or even make a decision. So it's been a, a good process, but it's not, I'm not trying to let it stress me out at all. You know, I'm just taking it how, how it comes. So. With he and Burgess's Euro trip in the books, Boateng still has a busy summer ahead. Next up, he'll represent Arkansas at a camp in Orlando. All the travel and the grind is to make him the best player possible as a high school senior, a college freshman, and ultimately, maybe a pro. Yeah, Offseason is just uh, basically just keep grinding, make, make sure you get your workouts in, make sure you're eating right, coming down to a decision as well. Trying to make some uh, visits. I'm very content with what I have. There's not, not much to uh, prove, especially this late. If people come and reach out, yeah, I'll probably give them the opportunity, you know, talk to them. There's nothing much to prove now. It's just, it's just continue to work hard and pick out whatever is best for me then.